Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a very interesting problem that I faced a few days back, actually asked by one of our readers that how can you separate numbers from text? What I did was I twisted the problem a little bit to kind of come up with various possibilities of the problems. And then I shared my solution using Excel and using Power Query. Let's take a look. So in the first case here, we have numbers at the end of the text. So you can see the word jumbo and the number 999 mangoes and 1650. The problem here that neither the text or the number is of fixed length. So we really can't use a straight left, right, mid function or you know, the text to columns thing. Um, before I show you the formula, I'll just give you the logic. The first thing that I do here is uh, find out that when the number is starting. Um, so the number is starting here on the sixth position. The first five are jumbo and the sixth one is a number. So once I get to know when is the number starting, I subtract one from that, which gives me the answer five and I then take the five from the left hand side. So finding out the first position of the number is critical to solving this problem. So let's just take a look. How did I do that? Here's the formula. Uh, this part of the formula actually identifies the position of the number. Then I use the left function to extract the first five characters uh, from this. Now this is an array formula. So when you confirm it, you have to press control, shift and enter. And once you have the, the text with you in a separate column, you could just use the substitute function to extract the text from this entire piece of numbers in text and get the numbers only. So that was the combination of the two formulas to get this. All right, let's take a look at the second case where we have numbers at the start of the text. All right, the trick here is to find the position of the first alphabet rather than finding the position of the last number. So let's just take a look. How did I do that? So I'm going to go to the number formula because that's what I wrote first. This is the formula that I use to find the position of the first text. Now, just to kind of decipher the formula for you, what I'm doing is I'm separating all the alphabets one by one in the array. So I get nine separate, then nine separate, then nine separate, and then jumbo each alphabet separate. Once I separate all of these uh, texts or numbers, I then convert them into a number. Now, obviously 999 is good, but jumbo is going to give you an error when you convert that into a number. And then I convert all the errors into a custom character. And then I find the position of the first custom character, which is the J. So here is all going to be custom characters and J is going to be number four and minus one is going to give me three. So three numbers here. And uh, then I'm going to use the left function to extract that. So that's what the formula actually is doing. And once you have the number separate, you could actually use the substitute function to uh, substitute the number from the text and get the original value. Another interesting case is where you have the text and the numbers all mixed up in a single text. Now, interesting part is that the number could reappear. So you can see that we have a word mango in the word mango. We have 16 and then we have 50. So it could actually reappear and it could be anywhere in the center or at the start or in the end. And as many number of times it could reappear as well. All right, let's take a look at how do we solve that? So first is the text thing. So again, I'm going to split each one of them separate. And once I separate each one of them, then what I do is I actually combine all the numbers by using the value function, which is going to give me the numbers only and the rest is going to turn out uh, as an error. And then I use the text join function to combine all the numbers or the text, which is there in my formula. And the same thing applies to the number as well. So this is what I do. Um, separate all of them. Then I convert that into a number. And once I convert them into a number, the rest of the text gives me an error and I only have numbers. And then I use the text join function to combine all the text. Now, as of now, you can see that this text is actually uh, treated as a number. So what you could do is you could also Additionally, wrap the entire thing around the value function, which is going to convert the entire text into a number again. So control shift enter and you get this. Now, all of these formulas that I've discussed with you are actually the array formula. So they would not work unless you press control shift enter to confirm them. All right. So that was about the Excel method to solve these problems. Let's take a look at how could you solve these problems using Power Query. So actually Power Query makes it extremely easy to solve these problems. If you just take a look at this table here, we have both the kind of 
uh, numbers here or the texts here where you have a number in the end or number at the start let's just take a look at how could you do that in power query so i'm just going to load both of these columns uh, as a table into power query so i'll go to data tab in the data tab i have uh, from table range and the data now is in power query now you just take a look that there is an extremely easy option to parse the number and the text so you just right click you click on delimiter sorry that's called split um, by and I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna say that why don't you split from a non digit to a digit meaning jumbo is actually a non digit so split it from here until you find a digit so split it where is it split from a non digit to a digit and you can see that jumbo has become separate and the numbers have become separate now in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the reverse so again split by and I'm gonna say digit to a non digit and this would actually become separate and that's about it you can actually just change the type of the data make it numbers and make it text and you're all good to go all right let me just quickly save this query so I'll click on close and load and the query is going to get loaded on the next page so when I give you the file to download that you can actually take a look at that all right let's take a look at another scenario here now in this scenario we have uh, the text and the numbers all mixed up like we saw that in Excel Let's just see that how could you separate all the text and the numbers using Power Query. So let's just take a look at this query which I've already created. Um, just going to open this query and show you what I have done. So let's just start with the source step. I just loaded the data into Power Query. Once I loaded the data into Power Query, I um, then duplicated this column. I made a copy of this column. The reason why is that because when I play around with this column, I should have the original text with me to combine it back. And then what I did was I split the entire second column by one character. And then I duplicate that column. So I make another column. The reason why I'm duplicating is because from one column, I'm going to extract the numbers. And from the other column, I'm going to extract the text. And um, then I change the type. So I made that as a number. And because I made that as a number, uh, half of this is going to give me an error and the rest numbers are just going to show up now i'm going to write a small a formula here which is where i'm going to extract only the numbers and give it out as a null in case that is an error so right here i write a formula which is a simple try and otherwise formula um, you can probably take a look at the gearbox and take a look at the formula so it says that try the column otherwise null so you just try fetching the value from this column if you're not able to because you have an error give me a null value that's what the formula says now i'm going to add another formula and try to get all the text here so I add another formula which is just a simple if formula and try to get all the text here now I'm just gonna group the rows so when I group the rows I have the original grouping uh, and the table if I hover my mouse on the table I just click on the white space you can see that I have all the columns that I just created but only for that particular text mixed text with numbers from this table I'm actually going to extract which column this column which is the uh, column which only contains the numbers and this column which only contains the text so two columns I'm going to extract so just take a look I have extracted so if I just hover my mouse on top of that you can see that this column has been extracted and then I extract this column again so the second column which has only the text and I can you can see that this column has been extracted I'm just showing you the formula as to how do I extract that this is called the table dot column formula and you can just take a look here now once I extract this as a list I have the ability to combine the list in a single cell so all I do is click on the double arrow icon and click on the double arrow icon and then I combine this and then I combine this so I combine this it becomes a number I combine this it becomes a text I could very well change the type here so make this as numbers make this as text remove the extra columns and I am good to go so that's all about it I click and close and load the data all right, those were the two ways in which I solved uh, the question using Excel or Power Query. Uh, let me know in case you were to attempt this, how would you solve this? And I'd be very interested to take a look at your solution. If you have any questions regarding my solutions, please feel free to put down a comment on YouTube or my blog. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Well, thanks so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.